What a beautiful day it is. Indeed it is. <laughs> Especially in God's presence. <laughs> Where there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. So what are we talking about today? Ah, mercy. <laughs> the mercy of god and so friend welcome to join us in this session as we talk about seeking mercy from god amen amen do you want mercy of course the mercy of god give me a cup of mercy <laughs> cup of mercy <laughs> so what's the mercy of god really all about all right uh i will say that mercy it's something that you did nothing to marry. Hmm. The Lord just show you mercy. Oh yes. It's not about your strength, mm -hmm. your power, who you are, or who you know. True. The Lord say, I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. Yeah. So anybody the Lord chooses to show mercy, the Lord will do it. Yes. But there is also that place in mercy where you can choose to seek for the mercy of Call God. Call on God for his mercy, yes. Yes, you can choose for it. Mm -hmm. It's just like in the Bible, I, I just opened here. Yeah. In Luke chapter 18, Luke chapter 18 from verse 35 through 43. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 18 from verse 35 through 43. It says, and it came to pass that as he was come near unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging, and hearing the multitude pass by, and asked what it meant. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by. Hmm. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have, have mercy, mercy on, on me. me. Hmm. Underline the word, have, have mercy, mercy on, on me. me. And they which went before rebuked him, and he should hold his peace. But he cried so much the more, Thou son of David, have, have mercy, mercy on, on me. me. And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What we doubt that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith hath saved thee. And immediately, immediately, he received his sight and followed him, glorifying God and all the people. When they saw it, gave praise unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, when you look at it, this man insisted he insisted that Lord son of David have mercy on me that's right sometimes we will, we will say that oh is God biased he just show mercy to whom he wants to show mercy my friends God is not biased that's right but he has also given you the ability to seek him and he say I will answer you yes sometimes life might get tough but you just need to come and seek God. True. And you have, you see a turnaround in your life. Just like this man, he has been blind there for many years. But because he knew that the one, the God of mercy, mm -hmm. can turn things around. Yeah. He did it for him. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you're there, you're watching me. And you've been seeking God. Crying, that Lord do this for me. Lord have mercy on me. Lord have mercy. The Lord will have mercy on you. Absolutely. But there is something you need to do. You need to surrender first to Him. Then mercy will be easy. Absolutely. God shows mercy. God shows compassion. But there is a place where we have to reach out. We have to cry. We have to say, I am in need of this. You know, my situation is so appalling. My situation is so heartbreaking. I need the mercies of God. I need God to intervene. You may be watching us from a sick bed and you've been bedridden for so long and you are mercy. asking, where would help come from? We are encouraging you today to seek 
the help of God. Lord, have mercy on me and mercy. restore me to good health. You may be watching and you're like, I don't know where my next meal will come from, but you can call upon the God of mercy for provision. You may be watching us and you're saying, ah, my life is in a shambles. I have made so many mistakes. I regret a lot of decisions I've made in my life. I have followed wrong companions to do evil in the sight of God. I have disregarded God in my heart. I have fallen astray from his grace. I have backslid him from the presence of God. You know, instead of beating up yourself, it is a tool of the devil for you to keep living in doubt and self-condemnation. Jesus Christ, you know, did not come to condemn us, but he came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. The Bible Amen. says in John chapter 11 that he is the good shepherd that cares for the sheep. Amen. He gives his life for the sheep. He has come that we should have life and have it more abundantly. That is why his mercy is open and available. If you would just go to him in faith and say, Lord, help me. Jesus, help me. One of the most powerful prayer points you can ever pray is Jesus, help, help me. me. Jesus, have help mercy me. on me. Mercy. You know, this person who was blind, he repeated twice. That's for purpose of emphasis. When you see the Bible repeating something, you know, over and over in one short span of time, it's talking about emphasis. He kept saying, have mercy on me. And then Jesus said, what would you have me do? He said, that I may receive my sight. He emphasized the need for God's mercy even before revealing his predicament. He knows that that mercy is able to eradicate the predicament. When Jesus hears the predicament, it will not be more than the mercy. That's why he kept reminding Jesus that you have the capacity in your mercy to eradicate mm. my predicament. Now let's look at Acts chapter 17. The Bible says in Acts chapter 17 from verse 22, Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship him declare I unto you, God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. And he had made of one blood all nations of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and had determined the things before appointed and the bounds of their habitation that they should seek the Lord if happily they might feel after him and find him though he be not far from every one of us for in him we live and move and have our being as certain also of your own poets have said for we are also his offspring for as much then as we are the offspring of God we ought not to think that the Godhead for as much for as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Amen. The Bible says the times of this ignorance God winks at, God equally ignores it. But now he has commanded all men everywhere to repent. The grace of God which brings salvation has appeared unto all men that teaching us we should deny ungodliness, we should deny unrighteousness, we should deny an unholy lifestyle. We should deny the ways of the flesh, the ways of the world, the way of sin, the way of iniquity, the way of darkness. The Athenians, they had raised up a statue saying to the unknown God and they were worshipping an unknown God. Paul said, this so-called unknown God, I have come to introduce him to you. He is the God of heaven, the creator of the heavens and the earth. You don't know him because you don't have a relationship with him. 
You just know him by religion, but you don't know him in truth and in spirit. How many of us today are just being religious, carried away by religious activities? I go to church. This is my denomination. This is what I do in our church. But you have not known God in truth and in spirit. He is still an unknown God to you. In your closet, you don't have intimacy with him. You don't know him as a father. You don't know him as a helper. You don't know him as a God who shows mercy. But today, we are encouraging you to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Forsake your evil ways. Forsake your unrighteous ways and come back to God. And say, God, indeed, I see that I have fallen from grace. God, indeed, I see that I have been blinded from my mother's womb. I have not encountered you, but I need a supernatural divine encounter. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you have time, or maybe just create that time. Create the time. And check on this. Verse 30. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commanded all men mm. everywhere to repent mm. all men all men you know repentance is not only about somebody that have not yet given the life to christ to come to jesus mm -hmm. it's about repenting unto the things that you do that are not good so yes. that you can do the things that are good yeah the things that are ungodly so that you can do the things that are godly True. sometimes we see that we have given our life to christ but we still find ourselves doing those things that are not good for children of God to do. Mm. So the Lord is calling on to us that please, all men, yes. you need to repent. Yes. You need to repent. Yes. You need to repent. Yes. And that is where the mercy of God oh, yes. is abundant. Mm -hmm. It is for you. He just said, call, call, True. call, yes. and I will answer you. He will answer call, us. Call, I will answer you. Mm. His mercy is that, come, cry like how this blind man was crying mercy. and saying lord son of david have mercy on me yes he did not say that son of david yield me son mm -hmm. of david have give my sight son of david yes. give me money mm -hmm. son of david give me this the greatest prayer is when you pray and say lord have mercy yes have mercy, mercy means me. no matter how that your iniquity might look like. Can help me. No Lord. matter how sad your situation might be, mm. you say, Lord, I surrender all at your yes. feet. Have mercy, Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Are you there? And you need the mercy of God. Mm -hmm. The Lord can show you mercy. Amen. The Lord can show you mercy. Yes, the Lord will show you mercy Amen. as you call upon Him in faith faith believing that lord i know you can do this for me i feel so filthy right now the bible says my righteousness is a filthy rack in the sight of god and that's why i'm reaching out to you oh father to show me mercy i need your righteousness in me i need your divine deliverance i need your divine liberation from captivity i need your divine help from the arrows of the enemy i need your divine sustainers in this dark sinful world i I need you oh god my soul needs you for all eternity i cannot afford to be eternally separated from you so when you come to god in faith believing the bible says that for without faith it is impossible to please god but when we come to god we must have faith that he is and that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him Amen. so my friend as you've listened to the word of god what is your decision today? The Bible says that when you hear the word of God, harden not your heart. Tomorrow may be too late. That's why God has connected you to this brief message of repentance, of salvation, of relying on the mercies of God. You cannot wash away your sins, but do you know that the blood of Jesus Christ can wash away all of your sins and make you white as snow that God can redeem you through the work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary 
as you open up your heart and say, Lord, have mercy on me. I realize that I am a sinner. I realize that I'm a backslider. I realize that I am a hypocrite. I realize that I have compromised. I realize that I have sinned and fallen short of your glory. As the prodigal child, I come back home to you today. Amen. Have mercy on me. If this is your heart cry, if this is your prayer, you want to surrender your heart to the Lord. You want him to have mercy on you. You want him to come into your heart to be your Lord and your Savior. You want him to redeem you, to transform you into an agent of righteousness, into a child of the Most High God, into a son of light, into a daughter of light. I want you to just close your eyes with heart of faith. Go to God as my husband leads you to the Lord in prayers. Amen. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Daddy, you did it before you can do it again. Daddy, you did it before you can do it again. You had mercy upon the blind man. You had mercy upon the blind man. And I know, Lord, that you can have mercy on and me. And I know, Lord, that you can have mercy on me. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Clean me with your blood. Clean me with your blood. Make me new again. Make me new again. I accept you today. I accept you today. As my Lord. As my Lord. And personal Savior. And personal Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you did that prayer, know that this there will be a shift. Amen. And the Lord indeed will see you true. Amen. Maybe you are believing God for something just oh, like yes. this blind man. Mm. He did not come and say, Lord, heal me yes. or make me to get my sight. Yes. He said, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Me. Yes. Mercy means that it's, it's a sign of surrender. Yes. So now that you have done that, mm -hmm. I just want to pray for you. Mm. Father, we thank you for this life. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the glory and honor. Amen. We suck them in your blood. Yes, Lord. We pray, Lord, may you protect them. Amen. May you keep them, oh Lord. Amen. Daddy, because you are the God of mercy, yes, may you have Father, mercy. Have on mercy them. Lord. Lord Jesus, yes, we secure Lord. them in you. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Receive Spirit. all the glory and honor. Amen. And meet them, Lord, at the point of their need. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So Amen. Just believe God in your heart as you go through your day, as you go through your week, as we have prayed, joining our faith with yours, believing whatever you've been trusting God for financial open doors, marital open doors, you've been trusting God for complete deliverance from every attack of the enemy, whatever you've been trusting God for to take you from the place of sorrow into the place of laughter, the Lord will do it exceedingly abundantly oh, yes. for you above all that you can ever ask or think in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. We pray that the Lord continue to bless you and continue to keep you in his presence in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hey friends, thank, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you were really blessed. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notification bell. Also, do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. We encourage you to share this video and bless others. And oh yes, we encourage you to check out our other edifying videos on this platform to keep enjoying the moment. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for watching, watching and God, God bless you. you. <laughs>